From the Money Watchers tonight, Health Source RI is running in the red. But officials running Rhode Island's healthcare exchange say they won't ask the state for more cash. NBC 10's Bill Rapley is live down city with some ways to make up the deficit. Bill? Well, in fact, the healthcare exchange this year isn't going to ask for any money from the legislature. This is a Health Source RI, highly touted around the country, is one of the better healthcare exchanges in the country allowing people to find the insurers for that mandatory health insurance coverage they need under the Affordable Care Act. But there are critics now say there's a report that's been out for five years says Rhode Island shouldn't be footing the bill for their own exchange. The report from 2009 by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation said Rhode Island would be foolish to open its own health care exchange. And Mike Stenhouse from the Center for Freedom and Prosperity says it raises an important question. When they were told Five years ago, the limitations of an exchange in terms of cost containment in Rhode Island in terms of its non-fiscal viability, yet they continue to tout the same benefits or deny those realities. Whose agenda are they really promoting? He says the state could get the, the same the services from the federal exchange for free. So why spend money on its own? Lieutenant Governor Roberts, who received the report five years ago, says the state, first of all, could not get the services for free. The federal government will send us a bill. We, it is not a negotiable bill. And she says what Rhode Islanders can get from their health care exchange is better than what the feds are offering. Because we are, for the first time, going to have a health insurance policy that's cheaper this year than last year. Stenhouse says the report suggests Rhode Island cannot control costs like it would choose to and that there is little in the exchange that the federal site can't offer. But Roberts defends what's been done to date. And we need to decide what we want it to do and how we want it to serve people going forward. I want us to make that decision right here in Rhode Island. So there is really not going to be any decision made by lawmakers this year, but Stenhouse and the Center for Freedom and Prosperity are hoping that this report and bringing it back out into the public is going to encourage further discussion about whether Rhode Island needs to run its own exchange. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News at the Down City Studio.